A professional black girl is a girl who takes her blackness very seriously. It's an everyday performance. It's a way to not just shield yourself from white supremacy, but also claim belonging to a larger group. And that can be domestically or globally. What makes me a professional black girl is the fact that I keep a toothbrush <laughs> in my bag for work to slick down my baby hairs. <laughs> um, they're always laid. Um, it's the way that I wear my wax prints, you know, with my gold rim glasses, the way I mix and match things in different parts of the diaspora. I think laid is the right terminology for the way that black people seek to have themselves seen. Right? We want to be on point. We want things to be proper and groomed. So I think that having laid edges is a larger metaphor for the way that we want to see ourselves in the world. So I think part of being a professional black girl too is being fearlessly and unapologetically black. So embracing the things that mark your blackness. And so for me, it's not just the baby hairs or the ways that I dress, but also highlighting my body, which is right undeniably curvy which is something that you know is an in your face kind of representation of my blackness so i accentuate rather than hide that and i think that's what being a professional black girl kind of arms me with it's this pride in who i am right sticking out as a professional black girl you don't really want to stand in you don't really want to fall in line right you want to be seen in my travels um, I'm almost always drawn to other women, um, whether it's in you know West Africa or Latin America, based on their attitude, the swag, if you will, if we're talking about using an American term to define it. Yeah, it connects me. The fact that I went to two different beauty supplies to find the two shades of red to match the red that I dyed my hair I think definitely qualifies me to be a black girl, a professional black girl. <laughs> um, you know, being in the West End, knowing which beauty supply stores to go to where I can find the different colors of hair. Um, you know, I wear a lot of box braids, which I, think is, which I think is the ultimate professional black girl hairstyle. You might find me in a weave or with my afro op or whatever it is. It's right, it goes back to this idea of being laid as a black woman. Part of navigating academia as a black woman, right, and we know that there's so many challenges being a black woman in that space, is to be armed and equipped with a kind of, I don't give a attitude. <laughs> you know what I mean? So that's part of being a professional black girl with me, whether it's wearing head wraps in white institutions <laughs> or when I'm giving a talk, right? It's always a part of how I move through my academic life Right, there's no off switch. It's just who I am and it's how I, it's how I exist in whatever space that I find myself in. It is important for me to show my students, you know, a variety of ways to be a professional black girl. That it's not just getting your higher degrees and fitting in in corporate America. That there are ways that you can shape your own lane, what you look like. And I think at Spelman it's an interesting place to be a professional black girl because there are a lot of iterations of what it means to be a black woman on Spelman's campus. And I appreciate that there are these multiple examples, visually and otherwise. So as a younger looking black professor, I think I provide my students with an example that they may not be getting at home or they may not be getting with other Spelman professors of a way that you can be yourself and also thrive in your industry. I'm Asia Lees, I am a professor, I'm a scholar of the African diaspora, I'm a traveler, and I'm a professional black girl. My name is Dr. Yaba Blay, I'm a prof... <laughs> so when you think about having the best mother in the world, okay, and me raising you, what kinds of things did I do to instill or reinforce your professional black girl? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, you have to talk about me. You want me to talk about you? Yes, talk about me. You posing? Get it, girl. Yes. Wait, why you keep leaving? Come.
My name You're is. Looking at me. Okay. Yes. Yes. Okay. My name is. Do oh, you want me to say Dr. Kyla Story or just say? Just identify okay. yourself how you want. Okay. To I'm Dr. Kyla Story, and I'm. A, I'm. A, ugh, oh, hold on. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, I'm sorry, y'all. Oh, oh, you do an outfit? Oh, don't worry. <laughs> I'm also trying not to get too bronze in my accent. No, so. hello, hello. Where we at? What are we doing? All right, let's come on. Let's go then. Let's All right. go. All right. Yeah. Good morning. I'm trying to give you professional. Oh, recording. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> let's come back to what makes you a professional. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, what y'all got over there? What, what kind of answers y'all got? <laughs> <laughs> okay, thanks, bye.